Hello, I am Amy, and let's read, shout, show, and tell. Daisy. Please, please. On Monday, Miss Queen asked the class to talk about their weekend. Daisy put on her hand, but Miss Green chose Sin and Amber and Jack. Daisy bit into her apple with a very loud crunch. Her tooth felt rather odd. Ouch! On Tuesday, it was PE. Daisy didn't want to jump up high in case her tooth wobbled even more. Come on, Daisy! On Wednesday, Lee pointed to the letters while they sang the alphabet song. Daisy sang very quietly because of her tooth. On, on Thursday, Daisy really wanted to wash our paintbrushes. Miss Green said it was Joe's turn. Careful, Joe! On Friday, Miss Green's class had show and tell while they ate their food. Daisy had forgotten to bring anything from home. She felt cross and fed up. Miss Green half her an apple. Here, she said, have a bite. Thank you. Daisy had a bite. Her tooth wibbled and wobbled and wibbled some more when it came out, right in the middle of show and tell. Daisy put on her hand. Please, Miss Green, she said. I got something I'd like to show. And Miss Green chose Daisy, first of all. Hooray! Sing. Jack and Daniel were playing the jungle. Sing ran in with his dinosaurs. They made a big roaring noise. Whirr! Sing, said Miss Green. Please play quietly. Sing went to see Amber and Doctor in the home corner. He woke the baby and the dressing of clothes got a bit messy. Sin said Miss Green, please play nicely. Emma was making bubbles in the water tank. Sin thought a volcano would be much fun. He put some red paint in the bottle. Sing, said Miss Green. You will have to stay, stay in at playtime to tidy up. Sing put the paints in the corner of the cupboard. Miss Green came to see. Well done, she said. You can go out play now. Well done, Sing. But the cupboard, but the cupboard door was stuck. Sing was stuck inside. Miss Green was stuck too. Oh dear, Sin said Miss Green, I think you had better try shouting. Sin took a big deep breath. He pretended to be a lion and roared as loud as he could. Roar! Help! Miss Wood came and opened the door with a screwdriver. Oh my goodness, she said. Were you scared? No, said Miss Green. Now we're seeing here to shout for help. Thank you, see. Lily. Lovely, Joe. Miss Green's class were making boats. They had to draw their homes and the people who lived there. Daisy drew her mom and dad and her brother and her new baby sister, my family. Dalton drew his mom and dad and his brothers. Then he drew his auntie and cousins who sometimes came to stay with him. Jack drew his mom and dad and his cat and his dog and his fish and his child, Mender. We got so many pets. Lily drew her mom and her flap with a big bowl of flowers. She felt a bit sad. Oh dear, Lily, said Miss Green. You haven't got very far, have you? Lily started to cry. Miss Green had to think. 
she gave a Lily a hug and a new piece of paper. Then she drew, she whispered in Lily's ear. At playtime, Lily was still busy drawing and cutting. But when showing time came, she was ready. Let's see, Lily. Lily opened her book very carefully. Now everybody could see all her houses and all the people who lived there. Dad's house had a new bed, Granny's house had a swing in the garden, Auntie Mary's flat was a bit messy, but Mom still had her flowers, and Lily was in all the pictures. There was Shout, Show, and Tell. Thank you very much.